uh, welcome back to the video series on web technologies lab so in the previous video we have seen creating login page and as well as user registration page so let's create the last page which is books catalog page so file menu save as so the name of this file will be catalog and type is html okay save now let's change this title to books catalog and this heading is also same right and now we don't need this form let's delete this okay it's gone now here they have asked in the program to use a table html table so all of you know the table contains rows and columns and the first row in the table will be the table uh, header okay table header so first of all to create a table we will use table tag okay and closing table tag so in between these tags we have to write the table uh, related tags and first one will be table header which is t head okay and closing t head so this is the header tag so in this we will specify a row table row okay and in the row we will have cells right fields that is uh, attributes which is th th means table header or you can say table heading which is a single cell in the row and here we will write book title and closing you can copy paste to make it fast we have four columns in total so next one will be book cover and another one is uh, others either one or more and last column will be the price of the book in rupees so save it and let's see the output so far what we have got here catalog so this is the output okay so what you can see is uh, you can't say whether this is a table or not right so to make the uh, to make uh, the web page show the table we can use something called border the border attribute and set the value of the border to one okay so this value one it is the thickness thickness of the border okay now let's see what is happening in the web page now you can see and say this is a table right okay uh, another thing is if you see here the content of the uh, cell is very close to the border of the table right so to give some space between the uh, content and border what you can do is you can use another attribute called cell padding and here you give the value let's say 5 so 5 is pixels okay it is pixels 5 pixels right 5 now let's see refresh yeah now it's good right it's looking better okay now after table heading or table header you can write the rows you can just use tr table row now here in table row you have to use td not th th is only used in the header okay remaining in all rows you have to use td maybe table division okay now the title of the book is the c programming language okay td uh, again td let's close it and in between these td tags you will write image 
so the cover image right second column is the cover image img src equal to you know that we have the folder resources where we have the images and file name is cprog.jpg okay uh, let's give some default height and width to the images height equal to 250 pixels and width equal to uh, let's say 200 pixels okay and you can close it like this right so second cell is over now third cell td now third cell is about book others right so others are brian w kerning khan and dennis m Richie and close the td tab and last column which is the price let's say the price is 250 rupees close the td tab that's all so so far we have created the table header and we have created one row let's see the output right so you have the table heading header and you have created one row right let's create two more rows very quickly mm. so let's copy this and paste again so second row is java the complete reference and this one is java.jpg height and width are same and others herbert shield and dr danny cover right and the price of the book is 500 rupees and the last row um, programming the world wide web so here wt.jpg height is same width is same and other is only one person robert w sebesta and price of the book is 450 okay same so that's all guys this is the fourth page which is catalog let's see the output refresh yes we got the catalog so like this you can write information of any number of books that you want so this is the total program one we have created in total four pages to see the home page just type form.html so this is the home page login page registration page and finally books catalog page so that's all this is the first program Thank you.